Hello sustainable growers, my name is Jonathan from Melbourne Aquaponics. My aim is to help you to grow some sustainable, healthy and tasty food in your own backyard. Today we're going to talk about cleaning the grow bed in aquaponics. So in this video I'm going to show you how to clean your aquaponics grow bed and how to improve the productivity of your system but before download the free aquaponics guide from the description of the video just below. So when do you need to clean your grow bed? So there are different times where you need to clean your grow bed. First is if you see a constant increase of the nitrogen level in your aquaponics setup. You got some troubles to control the quantity of nitrates that you have in your aquaponics system. In this case, it's maybe because you got too many organic matters in your um, grow bed and they are basically clogging uh, the system and uh, basically they release nitrogen in the system. Even if you don't feed your fish for several days, you still have a big reserve a stock of organic matters that are going to be transformed and that are going to release uh, nitrates in the system. It may be too much for the system. So that's one point. Uh, if you see a constant increase of the nitrate and you always need to renew the water, uh, it may be a good time for you to clean the grow bed. The second thing is if you see that your system is clogged. So what I mean is that, you know, we got some particles here. We got uh, some media, so the media is uh, completely free, right? That's just particles of rocks. But if you got too much organic matter with the bacteria, it creates a biofilm and it's going to basically clog everything together. So it's going to create a big block and uh, the particles are not free. So basically um, the water can't really uh, go through the, the media and obviously there is a really poor aeration. So if you see some ponds of water on the top of the media, that means the water is not draining well, that means the system is clogged and that's the perfect time to start to clean your grow bed. Another thing that you're going to see if your system is clogged is that uh, the plants are not going to grow well. You're going to see that they're going to start to stop growing and some of them are going to struggle to stay alive. And the reason why is because the roots are completely clogged. So around the roots of the plant there is no oxygen anymore and therefore the plants can't breathe. So the roots of the plants are starting to rot and therefore uh, the plant is slowly dying. Very often we got people who really start aquaponics and uh, at the beginning they, they succeed, but after two years, three years, four years, uh, the system starts to decrease in efficiency and uh, people just don't understand why, but at the end they just think, oh, finally it doesn't work. But the, the, the reality is that the system is charged, is uh, high in terms of um, organic matters and uh, the plants the plants can't breathe properly, basically there is no oxygen anymore, there is no good aeration around the roots of the plant and therefore the plants start to die. So um, very simple, if you, if you are in this position you just have to clean the system such as what we are doing today and uh, it's really going to give a good boost to your aquaponics setup because now the plants can breathe and therefore uh, they can grow again and the system can be productive again. The best time of the year to clean your aquaponics grow bed is in winter because in winter the plants are not so active so they don't produce so much and also the fish in the water there is a high concentration of oxygen so they're going to recover quite quickly. So now how to clean the grow bed there are different techniques so if you have a compressor an air compressor at home you can just uh, use it um, you basically inject some air into the setup when the grow bed is full of water. So basically it's going to create some bubbles and it's going to create some nice agitation and basically it's going to release all the organic matters. If you have a little setup, you don't have a compressor with a very small setup such as the one I, I have behind me, you know, one, two square, two square meters, you can just use a shovel. So I'm going to show you how we do that. I'm going to try to remove all the organic matters that are trapped between the rock. I will plug a pipe and this pipe is going to be linked to basically uh, the end of the grow bed. So it's going to collect all the organic matters and it's going to send them to the classic garden so that we don't lose anything. We basically recycle all the organic matters. We don't lose anything in aquaponics. That's the idea. So right now I'm just going to try 
to plug this fin. So I plugged the pipe here and now I will show you I removed the bell siphon here. So I removed the bell siphon. And now the water is able to go directly into my classic garden. So when I'm going to clean the grow bed, I'm going to have all the organic matters that are going to go directly in my garden. The whole mint is here. You can see that the water is very clear at the moment inside the, the area of the bell siphon but in a few minutes it's gonna turn completely black and that's exactly this water that is going into the garden, the classic garden. So all the organic matters are gonna flow to the classic garden. Uh, here we can see some worms.
once uh, you put your plants all together then you can uh, plug the system as it was before so basically now the water is falling back into the fish tank at the beginning the water is going to be a bit uh, dirty you know a bit bit dark but after a few days uh, the water is going to be clear again if you are new to the video please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to download your free guide free aquaponics guide from the description of the video video just below it's a free guide that is going to help you to build your aquaponic setups in the best conditions but also to get some good understanding of the limit of aquaponics to really produce healthy and sustainable food in your own backyard thank you for watching the video see you in the next one bye bye don't forget to get your free gift from this screen you can also leave me a comment below the video subscribe to the channel and see my last video i really hope to see you soon and I wish you a fantastic success with aquaponics. Have a good crop!